guys, what is going on? Blossom is back and welcome back to another episode of Top Drives. Now, one of the biggest things that um came to my attention when I did the uh, soccer ball, peach, and corn stream the other day, and if you don't know why those emojis are there, do check out the stream. It's on my YouTube channel. Do check out the stream so you know why it's there. But anyway, one of the things that I learned from that stream is that people actually enjoy my gameplay videos, which, um, first of all, thank you so much from the bottom of my heart. That actually means a lot because I don't make a lot of them, and I think that that's a, that's a reason why people enjoy them is because they're not very common on my channel. But at the same time, I think I'm due for one. We have the qualifier as it's ending and I'm gonna fast forward this video so we're gonna do the gameplay video in about 40 minutes from now I'm gonna be recording my prizes as well and as you can see we're at least getting an epic hopefully I might get targeted in the last 40 minutes you never really know but hopefully we'll get a world expo carbon fiber which is uh, really really nice um, we'll jump into the prelims we'll jump into you know grunge era and we'll jump into daily event basically today is a first ever the first ever world expo gameplay day and I think in honor of that I'm gonna be using no cars but world expo cars literally only world expo cars yes that includes you daily event i don't know how badly that is going to go now i'm going to be announcing this in every video until we hit one of the goals okay guys top drives is about racing and i want to race with you all watching right now okay it's a race between the viewers you guys and me how is the race going to work here's the thing i got 5.7 million in the bank account right now the race is to see who gets to the big 10 faster? Am I gonna get back to 10 million faster? Or am I gonna hit 10,000 subscribers faster? I'm gonna give you guys a deal. If you can get me to 10,000 subscribers before I hit 10 mil, then the moment I hit 10 mil, I'm gonna spend it all. Well, that basically throws away the birthday special, but I think it's about right, right? So here's the race. Can you get to 10,000 subscribers on this channel before I get to 10 million? Or can I get to 10 million before 10,000? If I get to 10 million before 10,000, um, I don't know if there's going to be a forfeit. I'll, I'll think about that later, but that's, that's the race, okay? That's the race. I challenge you to get my channel to 10,000 subscribers before I can hit 10 mil. I, as you can see, I've got about 4.3 mil to go, guys. Don't take some time. Anyway, let's get into it. Don Cavort, DAGTO. I'm sure some of you guys might be dying to know. What is this undefeated hand that I'm running? To be honest, it's uh, it's pretty humble. Uh, I'm using this. Uh, my main win conditions, once again, you know, when I do gameplays, it's always about winning the majority of the track sets. And my win conditions are the Ultima Can-Am, which I've already maxed out. Um, obviously, I got this from the Elite offer, so this is amazing. Because the biggest thing about the Can-Am to me is that it's a Xenos killer. It seems that a lot of players own the Xenos already already all right so i need a xenos killer so i got the can-am for that um but i also have the xenos right and then my last win condition is the audi s6 of all things um and this is my dry spec as well at 233 anyway without further ado let's get into it I just have a feeling, I have a feeling that I'm going to lose one of these races. Every time when I do a gameplay video, especially when I'm undefeated before I record the gameplay video, it always ends in some kind of tragedy. Uh, we, we will find out, we will find out. Now, I am running a, a total of three medium ground clearance cars. I think for the qualifiers, you can run up to a minimum of two ground clearance cars. Now you see this, this is an absolute win. This is an absolute win. The fact that I'm saving um, more than 30 RQ and I'm only losing by 50, that is an absolute win. I was gonna skip it, but you know, it's the first ever World Expo gameplay day. I'm not gonna skip any of it. This one I expected to win, but um, the Lotus Elan uh, FHC is a pretty strong car. Very light. It handles well. It has a low 0 to 60. Definitely a car I want in my collection. We win this one by 88. Now, the Ultima can -M is a car with no MRA at all. 68 MRA, but it gets the job done. Uh, the Xenus gets the the job done as well and we have our audi s6 getting the job done so that those are the three win conditions with a 188 to 100 i do have to pay attention for that 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 lotus though that lotus of standard tires is is very strong isn't it all right next one um i think this is the same guy that we just raced and once again how many win conditions do i see over here oh a total of three so i'm probably gonna go for this but this is where these hands are a little bit stronger because this is four wheel drive stand that's maxed as well. Ooh, this one's a very good hand, you know. 
And this one's actually very good hand, the one Tyler is running. Uh, well, it was a very good hand for this specific track set. I would say that my hand is the weakest for the ones with the more, like, rain. Um, so, once again, I'm going to putting, be putting the Audi S6 here uh, because it requires a medium ground clearance. I'll be putting the Zenus on the Slalom. And then my last win condition is going to be the Ultima against the Porsche. Uh, the Porsche has ABS, but no traction control. It's a one-star ultra rare. So, we should be good. I'm going to put you in car park and you on the Slalom test let's see if we're gonna lose by 50 on the first race four-wheel drive standard might be yeah okay this is where you know the super twisty stuff the four-wheel drive standards will really come into play this one by 50 Ooh, 85 wow this car is really strong um the lotus alon that's that's definitely one to look i love i <laughs> i won that by two points that was so much closer than i expected that to be that was actually very 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 scary all right well no more of that nightmare you know um thing uh this one's actually a very good hand um i can beat the Zenus and i can beat the monaco hairpin right but that means that um the only way i can beat this guy is that if i beat the uncommon by more than 100 points because there are three lose conditions on the table for me i'm going to lose city street small I'm going to lose Monaco Hairpin, and I'm going to lose Hairpin Road. Um, well, actually, no. I can have three win conditions here. Let's give it a try. Here's the thing. The third win condition that I didn't think about is I put the Audi against the, the Lotus Elan. That should give me a 50. Um, I should get, hopefully, over 100 points on the Monaco. Oh, I can't do that. I can't do that. I have to put you here, and I don't know if I'll get over 100 points in that place. Um, but yeah, uh, one, two, three. Those are my three win conditions. Now, here's the scary part. I'm going to be losing by pretty big amounts in the City Street Small and the Monaco Hairpin. So, this one's a bit of a risk, but hey, we want to take risk in these gameplay videos, you know what I mean? Alright, give me the win here, Audi. It's only going to be by 50, but that might be make it or break it. The game has for- okay, that's <laughs> how so- I don't know if it was going to crash, or- like, the game was thinking about it. See, that's- that's a massive- that's a massive L. 123 points. That is, like, losing on a drag. I need 100 points from this. Okay. Okay. Salvageable. Salvageable. Uh, this one I'm gonna lose by less than 100. Okay, now I'm in trouble. <laughs> I'm gonna win this by only by 50. I'm actually gonna lose this. See what I mean? When I do these gameplay videos, I do this ballsy stuff that just shoots myself in the foot by 10 points. <laughs> ah, damn. Yeah, that was a good one. I don't know why I decided to do that. Um, what? That was dumb of me. I should have just played it safe. I should have just played it safe. All right. Um, that was a Cobra on the line as well. Okay, next one is going to be this event. This event I'm not doing too well on because this car is still stock. Uh, uh, I, I actually ran out of super air fuse material because I've already maxed out. I've maxed out a lot. Uh, I've maxed out a lot of uh, World Expo Ultra. Actually, have I maxed out a lot? 21, right? And I've maxed out 9. I mean, okay, that's not that. No, I maxed out 10. I maxed out 10 because my, my 10th Zenus is already done. Or my third Zenus is already done. So I've already maxed out 10. If one, yeah, there's 150 super airs for these cars. So, um, yeah, I'm kind of low. And I don't want to one star it because I have OCD. It's, if, you're, if you're an ultra, you're either max or nothing. And of course. <laughs> I did it. I know I'm a bit of a boy that cried wolf when it comes to maxing out legendaries. I am very sorry about that. It's just that I really don't like... Like, the most painful thing in top drives is getting, getting rid of Epic Fuse. But this one... I mean... No, this is the best car in my garage now. Like, it, it actually is the best car in my garage. Because I don't max out the prize cars that I get. So, that Porsche is... Um, is quite something. I'll tell you that much. Uh, yeah, this is a really good hand. Uh, this is a ridiculously good hand. You, you're having two dragsters and you have two amazing, um, yeah, I can't, I can't, I can't do that, buddy. <laughs> um, these are some, yeah, these, these, this event, I'm doing a little bit worse on. Uh, so I'm gonna get a win from the, the, the half mile, right? And I'll get a win from, uh, uh perhaps this, and this, why, why am I running this Audi? Is there any rain in this? I can't even remember if there's any rain track sets in here anymore. But why am I running that Audi? That is so close. That is actually so close. That felt like a loss to me because of how much more RQ my Audi was. Please get me a lot of points. 96 MRA. 70. That's the thing, right? The Resvani has the same MRA as my Porsche and we lost that. 
Yeah, this one is, um... Oh, uh, this one's kind of hot, Chief. Uh, I know I got a maxed out legendary over here, but, uh... This one, this one kind of, kind of, kind of rough, not gonna lie. I, I don't think there's any rain in this. I don't know why I put in the Audi. Can someone please explain why I was running the Audi? Um... Yeah, this is a tough one. I mean, once again, like, I feel like every World Expo is going to be carried by my Ultima, which I did not mean to unlock. My Ultima and my Porsche. That's it. Like, everything else is just, like... <laughs> they're just here for the ride, you know what I mean? 34 RQ to work with. Uh, what else? I guess I'll run the Ultimate. The thing, the thing is, right, I I've totally forgotten what the... Uh, I've totally forgotten what the track sets of this event is. Uh, I, I, I genuinely d d did not remember what I was using before. I was running like... Yeah, that's a, that's gonna be a very weak ghost hand now. Um, I guess this was... I don't know what I was running. I really don't know what I was running for the first five races when I joined the event earlier. It might have been something completely different. I don't know why I put in the Audis. At least this, this one's a little better. Okay, that's a little better out of a hand. Like I said, everything is going to be saved by, you know, the Ultima and the Porsche. Um, yeah, I think there isn't any rain here. I don't know why I'm running the Audis. I, I guess I'll run the Cayman. Yeah, the Cayman's going to save it a little bit. You know what I mean? Yeah. That, that, oh, that doesn't meet the requirements. Yeah, that's right, because I need cars in the 90s. Oh, yeah, the Audi is going to stay. <laughs> I think the Audi is going to say, I don't know what else to use. I mean, maybe, yeah, maybe the Merc, the Merc might actually be better, or, or the Brooklyn's might be better. 54 IQ to work with. That, nah, that's 56. That's unlucky. I got 98. Oh, I think this was what I was running in the end. I think this was the hand. Yeah. Um. Once again, still not the strongest thing in the world, but I guess we move. Um, alright, so Tokyo off-ramp, and I guess the ones without the, the drag track sets, I tend to do a little better on. Um, ooh, I think we should win Tokyo Bridge. This looks like a pretty good car, you know? Four-wheel drive with 89 handling. I can tell you epics with four-wheel drive that can't even get 89 handling. So, that actually isn't too bad for a super rare, for crying out loud. Look, my I know that for a fact that this had to be so much better if I could max out that Mangusta. But your boy just doesn't have the fuse material right now. Also, I'm racing you guys to 10 mil. So, you know, that's 60k that I can save. As long as I can clutch the top 10 with just that stock ultra air, I'll take it, man. All right, this one's a tough one because I said I'm only going to be using World Expo. So this is the hand that I'm using. Um, yeah, this, so this one isn't going anywhere. I'm just going to do one race. We're just going to put it, put it, just put, put it in there. We're going to call it a day, okay? Uh, that doesn't even win it for us. That's like, okay, that's, that's, that's tough. Oh, yeah, mm, um, five. Mm, okay, yeah, we, can we get one win from this? You think we can get one win? One? Oh, yes. Yes, we can. It might even be a freaking three star. Um, okay. Thank you, Corey. We take those! Uh, I am gonna lose Ocean Short Drag. Maybe I should have put in more brain cells. And why is the, the Porsche? Um, the, the model for the Porsche is a saloon. I think that I think I just saw a saloon. What the hell was that? Well, we're gonna three star. I mean, we take those. And last but not least, we're going to join the Donkey Ford GTO 40 prelims. And once again, guys, yes, I'm getting carried by the Porsche. Yes, I'm getting carried by the Ultima. I already have a name for this. I will reveal it on Instagram. I guess I can reveal it now, right? Right? It's Mula. I'm calling it. Of course, it's bro. I, I had to. I had to. It literally has 25 in its name. Muller, my favorite player of all time for Bayern München. Well, actually, he's my favorite soccer player of all time for any team in any country. His club number is 25. And he's German. There's nothing. There's nothing. It's perfect. It's perfect. I'm calling him Miller. 100%. Okay. So, we're going to join this now. Um, once again, I'm going to be carried by these two cars. I, basically, every World Expo event is just going to be carried by these two cars. So, GT2, obviously, I'm going to have to put it on that because, you know, it's... It slicks. Um, so the Ultima, you're gonna have to do the due diligence for me, buddy. Uh, thank God this Saturn is medium, by the way. Um, so yeah, I, I think I can get a three star over here. Um, mainly brought to you by the first two cars that you're gonna see. Of course, 69, very nice. Uh, over a hundred, uh, I'm gonna say over 200 points. Yeah. There you go. For a, for a split moment, I was thinking maybe even 300 points. But we... Oh, look at that. We, someone has this entire email as his username. What is it? Yeah, he's got his entire... I should not show that, probably. But yeah, I mean, uh, he's got his entire email as his username. Okay, next one. 
Uh, we're gonna put in, once again, these two cars are gonna be carrying it for me. And, um, yeah, the rain track sets, I'm kind of just, like, I'm taking the L on the rain track sets. Like, I don't, I don't care. I think there's even, like, one track set with only one rain. So there really isn't any point to put in any standard tire cars. Um... And it's not like the four-wheel drive standard tire cars in World Expo are actually that good. Because the Audis, they don't handle. <laughs> like the 6969 car we got. That's 69 handling for a four-wheel drive standard tire car. I mean, if that was a rare, okay. I'll let it slide. But like, for an ultra rare, that that's kind of sus, not gonna lie. Alright, next one. Um, we're gonna have... I feel like I gotta put the Ultima on the fast circuit. It just feels right. I'll put you on Monaco. This is no wait, no, no. I'm wrong. I'm wrong. This is this is the one track that I was talking about with only the one like center tire car. So I'll just put the Saturn there because you know you kind of belong there, I guess. Uh, the AC Brooklyn's uh, Monaco City Streets, uh, Monaco Hairpin, and Twisty Circuit, and that should be another three star for me. Uh, if I once again, my my entire goal here is to get top ten on both these positions. But if I can get the top like tier one position, that would be an absolute bonus. Um, because the main the main goal here is to get the World Expo carbon fiber. It's a World Expo car carbon fiber for crying out loud. I want that in my life. Um, I love this update, and it's kind of funny because I was reading. Ooh, this is a very um, this is a very safe hand. It's it's a good hand. Um, where my Ultima, I don't think my Ultima is going to get me any win conditions here. It's a very good hand. Yeah. This, the, the, a lot of my hands are basically based off the Ultima and the Porsche winning. The Porsche, no matter what, is going to get me a win. But the Ultima, no. But that's... But there's still three win conditions. Because I win the hairpin road, the slalom, and the final race. So it's fine. Um, yeah, that's Celine. Wow, 3.399, and at one star, that's pretty good. Like I said, I, I do like the cars in this update. I really do. I love the pictures. I love, um, the stats. It's, it's nice, you know, it's nice. Um, but yeah, some people were saying from my review yesterday, maybe I was a little bit too nice on the review. To be, I'm, look, I'm speaking from the heart, and yesterday's video was from the heart. I, I really enjoyed the update. I really do. But maybe, I, I don't know. Like, it, it seemed that a lot of those cars going up in rarity, right? Especially the uncommons and the standard tires I was talking about. Like, I listed that as a con. I did not like that. I genuinely listed that as a con. But it seemed that a lot of people did not like that so much more than I didn't like it. Like, if I didn't like it, people, other people hated it. Like, people thought that because of that one thing, you know, um, that update was just unsalvageable. Like, it was the worst update ever because of that one change. And I can, I can see that. I, I can definitely see that. Uh, what am I talking about? By the way, Harpin Road, I think you're gonna be on the twisty. I don't know if you're gonna win that, but I just feel safer putting you there. But yeah, like, I, I completely understand it though. Um, you know, one, one of my patrons, he put it perfectly. He felt cheated that, you know, cars that he could collect in the past and max in the past, he can't anymore. And I get that. So maybe I'll make another video addressing that. That definitely is a con, but it seems to be a con to, a bigger con to other players, like a way bigger con to other players than it is to me. Um, which is like, because to me, it's kind of like, I have this mindset, like it is what it is. You know what I mean? Like change, this is what change is. But yeah, I don't know if I win this. I, I do, I do. It's a, it's very close to it, 229 to 194. But we take those, we are in the top three for now. But then again, there's there's only like 64 people in this bracket. Like I said, as long do we get the nose car two times in a row? I we do. Look, look, bro. I've had enough of the nose car. Okay, I don't need the nose car wherever I go. I've already unpacked the nose car three times in that open. I'm good, bro. I'm good. Um, once again, this is the guy with the really good hand. This is like the really like balanced hand because I lose so hard on the city street small and the Monaco hairpin. Hey, fair play, bro. Fair play. I ain't racing you no more, especially not on this track set. This one though. Here's the thing, man. Zeeland, I'm pretty sure Zeeland is actually a subscriber. So I don't want to race him. Um, but can I get a win condition? I think I can because this one, my Ultima wins. But if my, ult my Ultima will win this. But uh, that also results in a draw on the Zenus. But I, I, see, I see three win conditions. The Zenus isn't going to be a, a win condition, but I see three. It's going to be one because that's one star. It's two star. Um, wow. Wow. Okay. Uh, 
that's really bad 0 to 60 4.8 for a two star it literally looks like a one star uh so that's two win conditions right and then like i'll have like three win conditions here i'll lose the monaco hairpin and then we just tie mountain twisty road so yeah all right cool I, I was leaving this guy alone at the start of the bracket but he seems to have fallen down the pecking order a bit and i can't beat tyler so i, I don't have a choice um yeah that loses by 50 and i think the worst case scenario here is that um it's just gonna tie like even if i lose the next race we're just gonna tie because the two zenuses they're just gonna you know hit each other oh uh, yeah that's really close though that's really close 4.8 that's a really bad zero to 60 on that s4 though and then this one's gonna be a tie as well so it's gonna end up being a 150 to 50 yeah okay cool cool beans cool beans cool beans that's yeah that's gonna be it as long as i can get myself this ac i am most likely going to max this i know it's 65 rq but i i like the car um it's just a shame that i can't call it a shelby but i really like the car but anyway guys that's gonna be it for today that is the first ever pl15 world expo gameplay day hey i'm back and here we go donkey bar da gto 40 you guys saw me play the event now you get to see me collect the prize um best thing the best thing ever would be you know ac cobra be card five um because yeah yeah i want to be card five because card six then would be a car that's better or the same which is fine um 400 trophies is a lot of tro i mean usually you get like i usually get 300 trophies for a, uh, a qualifier or a win or something like that 500 for a final win maybe they changed it i don't know it's been a while since we've been a tri-series okay so what we want to see here is the cobra please 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 okay well it's not the cobra but we do get two epics it's my second one of those as well and the co okay okay fair but that i mean yeah that, that was interesting i didn't expect to get an epic and then a car that was like 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 i didn't expect to get an epic but that being like the fifth card that wasn't the cobra you get what i mean okay we take those that's actually my second ford gt40 i'm sorry but it was spaghetti just fell out my mouth but yeah we take those all right add it and add it i think my second ford is going to be fused material perhaps but we take those we take those we take those we take those anyway guys that's going to be it for today's video i hope you enjoyed today's video remember to stay safe wash your hands and blossom out peace Bro, this song just makes me so happy. <laughs> me too. Imagine being Asian in the 50s, looking nippy, leather jacket, looking sleek, look like Presley, look so deadly. Got a jukebox back at home, feeling jazzy, turn it on and play it slow, like the movies with the ladies. They so fine. Imagine being Asian in the 50s, looking nippy, leather jacket, looking sleek, look like Presley, look so deadly. Got a jukebox back at home, feeling jazzy, turn it on and play it slow, like the movies with the ladies. They so fine. Sit back, relax in my Bonneville Pontiac Hold tight all night, cruise to Jacksonville Atlantic Blonde hair, don't care, look like Leslie Brooks Pin up girls everywhere with the drop that looks Swing it side to side as we slow down